A happy Monday morning to you. I'm Pastor Scott coming to you on this 17th day of the Serving Challenge here at Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. I hope you've had a great weekend and uh, you, this week is off to a good start for you. This morning I'm coming to you from, um, from my study, from in front of a picture which uh, depicts uh, the woman at the well. And uh, that's what our story and today's reflection is about uh, that Pastor Zach um, brings to our attention and, and actually even challenges us to, to read all of John chapter 4, verses 1 to 42, so we can read that entire story together. But to paraphrase, I think most of us know the story. Um, Jesus goes to the well at midday. Um, he sends the disciples off into town to look for some food, and he encounters a Samaritan woman there. Um, a Samarit Samaritans were considered to be unclean. They, um, they were the, the ritually pure Jews would not have associated with them. They had begun to worship in a place other than Jerusalem, um, and they had intermarried. And so um, there was a lot of tension between um, the, the Jews and the Samaritans, and here Jesus, a, a Jew, is interacting alone with a woman who happens to be a Samaritan woman at the well. And they have this conversation about drawing water and having living water. Um, and Jesus knew this woman um, and saw this woman for who she was um, and changed her life. And part of the point that Pastor Zach makes is Jesus is not only available to us, but Jesus comes to us. Jesus comes as a great physician, and unlike physicians today, where we have to make an appointment, and hopefully we can get that appointment within the next week or two or month or two or within the year, um, unless something acute is going on, um, it's difficult to make an appointment um, to, to see a physician. But not so with Jesus. Jesus meets us where we are. In this instance, he meets this, this woman, um, who is living with a man who's not even her husband, um, who is out getting water at midday um, so that she wouldn't encounter the other women getting water in the morning or in the evening is the supposition. As we read this story, Jesus goes to her, encounters her at the most unlikely time in the most unlikely of places and offers her healing, um, sees her and sees all the pain in her life, and uh, as a result, she becomes a, a disciple, a witness of who Jesus is. So she goes back into the town and tells them about this man who has seen her and knows everything about her. Jesus meets each of us in our brokenness and that the, our places of deepest pain. He doesn't um, wait for us to come. He meets us there and uh, it wants to encounter us there. All we have to do is uh, open ourselves up to, to his love um, that he offers each and every one of us. We learn a lot about availability um, and what it looks like to be available to other people through the example that Jesus uh, 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 gave us in the Gospels. And, and I think this is a great story. If you have the time today to read it in its entirety, we've been talking about the challenges of our schedules and how busy we are but I think it might be worth your time to review that story today. John 4, verses 1 through 42. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day 18 of the Serving Challenge. Have a great day.